Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Idil. I have the largest cooking channel here in Turkey and I've just started making English videos so please don't forget to subscribe for easy, wholesome and delicious Mediterranean recipes. Today we'll be making cornbread. It's especially very popular in the northern region of Turkey and it's just to die for. So amazing, so rich, full of flavors and easy to make too. Let's start. So first off, I'm gonna start with whisking an egg. You can find all the quantities and the ingredients down in the description box. So please don't forget to check that out. Some olive oil, about a cup. You can use melted butter instead. You can mix melted butter with olive oil too. But I just like to use olive oil when making cornbread. It makes it lighter and it makes it very crunchy. Adds a great flavor. A cup of whole milk. I'm just gonna warm up this mixture with a cup of warm water and I'm just whisking it through, make sure the egg doesn't cook. It's not boiling but it's close to a boiling water, so it's quite hot. This looks perfect. And to this, I'm gonna add three cups of corn flour and continue whisking until I have it all incorporated. So the texture that I'm looking for at this stage is a silky, dense cake batter and this is looking great. In Turkey we like to serve cornbread with fish. It's very popular to serve with fish. But when I make it at home, I serve it for breakfast, you know, for lunch, for dinner. It's just so nice, such a rich bread. And some people like to mix corn flour with regular flour when making this, but I just use corn flour because I want that corny deliciousness in my bread. So after I get the corn flour in, I add about a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm gonna add some spices. A little bit of red pepper flakes, some paprika, some fresh thyme leaves just to include that Mediterranean deliciousness. About four or five sprigs. Some freshly chopped basil. I'm gonna save the rest for the after. And some feta cheese. And because I'm adding feta cheese, I'm not adding, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt actually, but just a little because the feta is quite salty. And I'm giving everything a good mix. The batter is ready. And this is ready to cook. I've got a cast iron skillet in front of me and I've olive oiled it uh, generously as well because I want the bottom of the bread to be really, really crunchy too. And I'm just gonna transfer it in this. I'm just gonna transfer this in and I'm gonna put it in the oven that has been heated to 180 Celsius, which is about 356 Fahrenheit degrees. And it's gonna stay in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. It's going to look great, great uh, when it's all cooked. And guys, seriously, this is such a great alternative for regular bread. Very wholesome, very delicious. Kids love it. My four and a half year old approves. And after it's cooked, I'll show you how heavenly it looks. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Now we wait for 35 minutes. So the cornbread stayed in the oven for about 30-35 minutes and it started separating from the size of the pan and that's how I understood that it was cooked. It looks golden brown, looks amazing, smells amazing. Now let's cut it. You can cut this in squares, but I'm just gonna cut a triangle, big slice to myself because I love this so much. And this is going to be my breakfast. <laughs> oh, it's so hot, but just look how amazing it cooked. Now let's give it a taste. It's always a good idea to be patient and wait for 20 minutes after you take this uh, a slice off the pan. 
but I'm an impatient person, so you know, let's give it a taste now. It looks great, by the way, but I'm gonna burn a little. I want the top as well because ah, it's gonna be so crunchy. You guys. Mm. So good. Just melts in my mouth. The top part is, it's very good, it's very crunchy. The inside is super soft. That feta cheese gives the saltiness and those basil and oregano that we put in, it just gives a great, great aroma. I do hope you try this at home. It's very easy to make, but you'll be addicted to it. Yeah, take my word for it. Take my word for it. I hope you subscribe to my channel for easy, delicious, wholesome Mediterranean recipes. Hope to see you next time. Bye.